Hi guys, uh, today our topic is you mask. What is you mask, and then why it is required? Okay, you mask mean like a user file creation mask, right? Uh, if you want to define, for example, if you create a file or if you create a directory, what will happen? The permissions are uh, applied by default. Some permissions applied by default to the file or directory which you which you created, right? So by default, we don't apply. We just create a file. We just create a directory, right? And uh, the permissions will be automatically applied to that file, right? How those permissions applied means using this umask value. Okay, so you mask means user file creation mask. It will be a uh, different for each user. We can maintain for each user. We can have different a uh, umask value. Okay, so how it will work? Let's say uh, for directory, if you are creating for file, you are creating how how this will work. Okay, so first you need to get the umask value. How to get the umask value means just umask itself is a command. Okay. So you must you must itself is a command. Let's say uh, I'm into like uh, who am I right now? I'm the root user. You must for root user zero zero double two, right? So zero zero double two default you must value for the root. Okay, a uh, root user default you must value would be zero zero double two. So this is default. Let's say for normal user, okay. So su hyphen sai. I am logging with my user sai. Okay. So let's try to check the umask value. That is zero zero uh zero two, right? So for normal user, right? For normal user, zero 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 two is the default umask value, right? So how the permissions? For example, uh, let's say the directory is created by the root user. The directory is created by the um uh, normal user. Even for the file, okay. Let's say I I gonna create with the sai user, okay. So mkdir test directory, and then touch uh, touch space test file for example. Let's give ll. This is the file and this is the directory. Let's copy these two, okay. And uh, let's copy it here, okay. This for what? Normal user, right? Let's take for root user also, okay. So let's go to go back to root user i am the root user now where am i i am the root so here um at the space uh, test file and uh, mkdir mkdir like test directory okay so let's give um let's take this okay so this is the directory and this is the file these are the permissions applied right so i don't want uh, the i don't number for example i just take this okay So let's paste it here. So these are the permissions applied, right? So these are the permissions applied. So if you see now, both are different, right? So here file created, and uh, here also directly created with the root user. But with the normal user also, we are able to create. But both file, both permissions are different, right? For the test file here, and for the test directory here, both are different, right? so how we can how we can actually uh, differentiate right so first we need to for the directory you need to subtract the u mask value from 0.7 you need to subtract the u mask value for file from 0.6 okay let's say for root user for directory you created right And uh, what is the uh, what what is the uh, like uh, G, uh, the actual value zero triple seven right minus U mask value. What is the U mask value zero triple seven? What is the U mask root U mask value here? So zero 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 two. Sorry zero zero double two right zero zero double two. So let's give like zero seven five five. These are the permissions right seven uh, five five. Because seven minus two, seven minus two, five five. These are the permissions. And let's say for file, you need to subtract from zero triple six minus the U mask value, right? From zero triple six minus zero zero double two. What will be the value here? So zero six four four six minus two, six minus two, four four. These are the permissions. Let's say all the permissions for the owner 
and only read and execute permissions for the uh, i mean read uh, only read and execute permissions for the group and read and execute permissions for the others right you can see for the directory here all the permissions read execute read execute for file only uh, read and write permissions read permission read permission read and write permission for the owner and read permission for the group and read permission for others right so let's say for normal user let's create for normal user okay so um, i'm i'm taking it here let's take it here let's write it here so the same thing okay let's copy and uh, what, what are the permission uh, what, what is the umask value here 0002 right 0002 that is the umask value for normal user which we already wrote right so let's subtract 0, uh, 0, 0775 here 0664 these are the permissions now you can see so 0775 right so here uh, 7 um, first would be directory you can see uh, rwx and rwx 77 7, and then rx it means 5 you can see 0775 and for file it is 0, 0664 for file Triple six means six means read four plus two six four plus two six and then this is R means only read permission right that is four so this is how the uh, all the I mean the permissions will be applied by default with the umask value usually this umask value okay we can set it in the dot bash underscore profile of each user or dot bash rc also dot bash rc is the file. Which is, which is actually these two files are actually um, uh, the environment configuration files uh, individual for, for every individual user okay we can set it uh, you must value in these two files whenever the user logins it will set by default okay so if you want to change it temporarily for example okay let's say i want to change the temporarily the you must value for root user you must zero triple two okay I changed it. What is the umask value? Zero. I mean, umask space umask value can give to change it. Umask command if you run, you can get the umask value zero triple six, right? So let's take the same thing here. So same thing here. So uh, zero 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 triple two, and this is also zero triple two, right? So let's let's minus this, right? So here five 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 here. 6 2 uh, it means 4 4 4 that is it right so let's say let's let's create the file or directory touch of space dir 100 1000 for example uh, sorry um file 1000 okay um and uh, directory uh, i'm creating mkdir directory 1000 okay uh, give ls hyphen alrt to get the uh, latest file at the bottom right you can see these two files we created right now if you if you observe it only read permission all read permission means 444 for file and uh, read execute read execute read, ex read execute for the owner group and others you can see read execute it means uh, 4 plus 1 5 4 plus 1 5 4 plus 1 5 so this is how we can change the umask value actually um, temporarily we can change it if you want to change permanently then let's go to the like let's say i'm changing it for i user right so here ls hyphen you mean in the home directory where i am right now i'm into this home directory and uh, uh, if you observe the all the hidden files you can see bash underscore profile this is the uh, uh, environment configuration file the normal user right so we am any user okay dot bash underscore profile here i'm setting it so what is the umask value 0 0 0 0 for example all zeros i am keeping are 0 0 double 2 something like that whatever the value you want the uh, permissions you wanted to get so you can you can just set the umask value based on that so i am setting all zeros for example let's see what will happen right so enter so let's exit from here let's try to log in with the root user again uh, as i user again okay let's verify uh, dot bash underscore profile here okay so you can see that is the umask value right why the umask value even if you run umask you can get the umask value because 
this file will get loaded at the time of login to the user. When you are trying to log into the user su hyphen username, here if you keep hyphen, the bash underscore profile will get loaded. So that's the reason this umask value got changed. You can see the umask value, right? And now you need to uh, create a file or directory. Let's say directory 100, uh, file 100, and then let's create a directory, directory 100, give LL. You can see file 100 and then directory 100. Let's copy these, these two, okay? Let's copy these two and then let's paste it here. And you can see what the umask value we set, variable set, 0, 0, 0, 0. It means all the permissions, right? 7, 7, 7 minus 0, 0, 0. It means triple 7. It means all the permissions for the directory, right? Uh, 0, 0, 0 means here triple 6 for file, right? Triple 6 minus umask value, right? So it means the same permissions, triple 6. Read, write, read, write, read, write for user, owner, I mean, owner, group, and others. So this is how you can change the uh, umask value permanently in the environment configuration file that is dot bash underscore profile okay so this is all about umask value it's very important uh, uh, whenever you wanted to make changes uh, for the umask value this is how you can change it and even it's very important for uh, even if you're attending for any of the interviews okay thanks for watching this video uh, please share comment and uh, uh, give a like and subscribe to my channel we'll we'll talk to you soon in next video Thank you.